What you say in your content is what's gonna bring you leads and help you turn them into clients. My name is Karma Hunter, brand mentor and a conversion strategist. I help coaches, consultants, and online business owners create a quality pipeline of leads so that they never have to worry about where their next client is coming from with simple evergreen marketing strategies. If you wanna learn more about evergreen marketing, evergreen content, copywriting, and simple business strategies to grow your business online, make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to receive the notifications on my new videos later. So what does content strategy really mean? Content strategy really means what type of content you post and the purpose of the content. Also what you say and how you say what you say in the content. One of the questions I get asked by new coaches and new online business owners is that they have been posting content on social media, on different platforms, they have been consistent and they've been frequently posting content, but they're still not getting any clients. Which brings me to my next point, which is what you say in your content and how you say it in your content. What you say in your content needs to have these three components in it. It needs to attract the right target audience. It needs to make them desire what you're talking about and it makes them demand what you're talking about, okay? So how can we do this? Let me break it down for you. This is my ADD content strategy. And this is the content strategy that will help you attract clients on any platform, regardless the platform you're on, or you don't even have to be online. You could be sitting next to a guy at the, at the park on a bench and talking to them. If you follow the ADD framework for your content, you will start attracting quality leads who will turn into clients. So here's how it goes. A for attract. You hear a lot of tips and hacks about how to stop the scroll, right? That's your first goal when it comes to creating content. People are scrolling so fast on their social media accounts and you wanna grab their attention so that they stop the scroll so that they listen more, read more, watch more, whatever type of content it is, right? But here's the thing. Most of the tips and tricks you hear about the first attraction is just that. It's basically clickbait, a shock factor. So when it comes to creating content in order to get leads or get clients in order to attract the right people, you need to attract them the right way. You don't want to stop the scroll because people are thinking, oh, what the hell is she doing, right? You want people to stop the scroll because they're thinking, oh, that's what she's doing. Let me hear more. Let me listen more. Let me much watch more so that you know that it's the right people who stop the scroll. There are so many easy ways to stop the scroll. You can literally stop the scroll with shock factor. You could start screaming, you could start dancing, you could start doing whatever really grabs attention, but it will be just for that. It will be grabbing attention because it is a shock factor for most people not because they really are compelled with what's going on and they're the right people because they want to listen or hear more. Now that you attracted the right people because they knew what you were talking about and they wanted to hear more and listen more or read more, now you make them desire. Desire is not the type of content 
you create that makes people say, oh, I wish, oh, I wish I was like her. Oh, I wish I could do that in my business. Oh, I wish I could lose that weight. Oh, I wish I could go there. Instead, the type of content you create should make your target audience say, oh, that's what I need to do to be like her. Oh, that's what I need to do to grow my business. Oh, that's what I need to do to lose the weight. Oh, that's what I need to do to go there, right? It shouldn't just make people say, oh, I wish. It shouldn't make them just like the idea. It should make them desire. It should make them wanna do the same thing. So now that they wanna do the same thing, next is the demand portion. Meaning the content you create and how you relay your message should create that demand. Now, they shouldn't just say, oh, that's a great idea. Or they shouldn't say, oh yeah, that'd be nice. They should say, that's exactly what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I need. Oh, I definitely need this so that I can get there. You see the difference? So we don't just want people to say, oh, nice. Oh, this is what she's doing. Oh, that's a great idea. Hmm, I see how they may, that may work. We want them to be on this side. We want them to be not on the fence, but we want them to be seeing that this is, there's a way, and this is how you can do it, let's do it, right? So if you have all these three components, if you follow this framework, ADD framework, while creating your content, while drafting how you're supposed to put out your message, you are going to be attracting those leads who want to be a client for you. So make sure to follow this framework, ADD framework, while creating content for your business. If you want a more detailed training with worksheets and with the whole workflow, check the link in the description below. I'm leaving a link for the entire step-by-step -step training where I lay out the whole strategy of ADD framework. Let me know in the comments below, what's the most challenging thing when it comes to creating content for your business? I'll see you in the next video.